When I was starting out my HVAC business, I didn't realize how much I would need to know. I was just another technician who was tired of working for somebody else who didn't have the same values and ideas that I did. Some people don't think that the journey should be too hard. Get a truck, get your tools, get some customers, and go to work. We've been using House Call Pro since 2016. We needed something that would let us schedule our appointments, give our techs directions to our customers through Google Maps, write up estimates, send invoices, collect payment, and integrate with QuickBooks Online. But they do so much more than that too. We researched over a dozen software programs and found that their price was less than half of the bigger CRMs. House Call Pro is by far the most user-friendly for our technicians in the field too. We were able to go completely paperless and start creating professional looking estimates and invoices with our logo. House Call Pro automatically sends appointment reminders the day before the job, lets them know when we're on the way and when the call is finished. Get a free demo of the number one app for home service pros by clicking on housecallpro.com forward slash Fox family in the description below this video. That's housecallpro.com forward slash Fox family. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. It was a liberating feeling for me at first. I quickly found out if I wanted to grow my business though, I would have to learn more about the business side of HVAC. I knew I was a good technician, but I started developing a great desire for more input, more knowledge of the business side. Getting off the ground seems like the toughest part of the process, but I can honestly say now that it's not. This series is to complement the ones that I made back in 2016 on starting my own business. I just thought that I would go over some of the things that I talked about before and give you my thoughts on them now that I've been doing it for a while. If you want to see that series before watching this one, I'll try to leave a link on it here in this video. The first thing we should talk about is if you want to do this thing right, you're going to have to get your contractor's license. In California, if you want to do any HVAC, plumbing, electrical, handyman, and other types of work for someone, and you plan on collecting money for it, you need to get your contractor's license first. Why? Well, let me give you a few reasons. First and most obvious, it's the law, and you can get arrested and fined thousands of dollars for contracting without a license. If you get caught contracting without a license, it'll make it that much harder for you to go to the state and apply for one with that strike against you. Second, having a license lends credibility to your name and builds trust. When your future customers see that you're legitimate on the government website, it shows the people that you've gone through the process like everyone else and that you don't cut corners. You can control your own business and its reputation when you're doing things the right way. Third, contracting legitimately keeps the quality of work that you do to a certain standard. For any work that alters the electrical, plumbing, gas lines, or structure of the building, a permit is needed. In order to get that permit, a contractor's license is needed. And when you're done with that work, a local city or county building inspector comes in and verifies your work to close out the permit. Now, you've heard me talk and complain about the system of inspectors and administrative personnel in the building departments. Even though I feel the way I do about them, I realize the need for inspectors to confirm the work that we've done. It's a system of checks and balances where a separate set of eyes gets to see the job that you did and give the homeowner their seal of approval based on the local building codes. Finally, being part of a group of people in your field who has gone through the steps of becoming contractors creates a force that prevents non-licensed people from scamming and taking advantage of homeowners and endangering their property with shoddy workmanship, which still happens anyways. I wanted to bring some of this stuff up again, not to discourage anybody, but to enlighten those of you who are interested in starting your own company to start by being legit. Personally, I don't condone the people that are out there doing side work and still working for somebody else, but that's another video. If your state allows for high dollar HVAC work and there's no insurance requirement or state bond obligation to protect the homeowner should you burn their house down with sloppy, unvalidated workmanship, then more power to you. Take the time to do it right from the start, no matter what state you're in. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.